Hi everyone, it's Intang Mayumi. I have a couple of treat bags for you today using Stampanda's Clean Create Fall Stamp Set. I mounted my clean stamps on a clear box and I'm using Versafine Onyx Black Ink and stamping my images on Stratmore 90 pound watercolor paper. I stamped two of the big pumpkins the smaller pumpkins, and also the hat. After I stamp all of the images that I need, I will pour some clear embossing powder on the stamp images and heat set them using my heat tool. I use my Koi watercolors to color my images. I did very simple coloring on this one. After the coloring is done, I fussy cut them with my scissor and use my memento black marker on the white edges of the images. This paper is by Pebbles and it's called Tricks or Treats 6x6 paper pad. I'm going to use two sheets of this paper for my topper. I also use the CC Design Scallop Square die set and I use the largest die from the set to die cut my pattern papers. The die cut pattern papers are 4.5 by 4.5 inches. I'm going to score it at 1 and 1 fourth inches. The short side will go on the back of the treat bags. I have scalp oval die cut from Hero Arts stump and cut handmade tag set. I'm going to distress the edges using Vintage Photo Distress Ink. I'm going to use the pumpkin bucket from the Stampendous Custom Stock Stamp Set and I will stamp the image with Memento Black Ink on the scalp oval and I will also stamp to and from. And just color the pumpkin buckets with my Prisma color pencils. I used the sentiment Happy Halloween from Tim Holtz Jack O Lantern. I will use Memento Black ink on a scraps of craft cardstock. After I stamp the sentiment, I will cut them using my Fisker trimmer. I'm reusing my stamps packaging on projects like this. Every time I get new stamps, I save the packaging. I store my clear stamps in a sturdier plastic. I don't recommend using the, this packaging if your candy doesn't have wrapper, just to be safe. I'm using it because my candy has individual wrappers on them. I will attach my topper on my package candies using stapler. I will staple it in the middle so I can cover it with the pumpkins later. 
I'm now attaching the hats on top of my pumpkins using a little bit of liquid glue. I added foam tape on the back of my images to give them a little bit of dimension and I will adhere them on the topper. I also use foam tape on the back of the sentiment and the to and from and adhere them on the back of the topper. And here are my treat bags ready for Halloween. I'm a little bit sick so excuse the voice. I just want to finish this so I can share it. As always, thank you so much for always watching liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you like today's treat bags, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.